Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 7, the so-called No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act. Today, on the 42nd anniversary of Roe v. Wade, the majority is launching yet another attack on women's health and constitutionally protected right to choose whether to carry a pregnancy to term. Most importantly, this bill will make it virtually impossible for a woman to obtain abortion services even when paid for with purely private, non-federal funds. Though its uh, novel tax penalty provisions, through its novel tax penalty provisions, H.R. 7 departs radically from existing law, taking away women's existing health care and placing their health and lives at risk. And despite the claims of its sponsors, H.R. 7 does not codify current law, and it is not about the regulation of federal funds. There's no federal funding of abortion due to the Hyde Amendment, and the Affordable Care Act maintains that policy and law. For more than 30 years, Congress has prohibited federal funding of abortion except in cases of rape, incest, or to save the life of the mother through provisions in like the Hyde Amendment in annual appropriation bills. Nothing in the Affordable Care Act changes this. And finally, H.R. 7 also eradicates the authority of the District of Columbia to make decisions about how appropriated funds are used for health care of the district's citizens. So what is H.R. 7 really about? Plain and simple, it's an assault on women's health and freedom. It permanently blocks abortion coverage for low-income women, civil servants, D.C. residents, and the military. No committee has considered this legislation. Text was not even available until last night when rules met in a so-called emergency meeting. But the only emergency is that the majority didn't have the votes to pass another mean-spirited anti-choice bill. So they're rushing to the floor with this bill in time for the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. Isn't it time to stop playing politics with women's lives and start governing? Accordingly, I urge my colleagues to oppose this egregious bill, and I reserve the balance of my time.